Hello, IS class. Welcome to um, our final project and thing that we're going to be doing before the Christmas break. And this is uh, building off of our lesson on Christian perspective. We will take about a week, week and a half to to study, look into an event, and use our Christian perspective, our lenses that we put on our Christians, and and to retell stories, to look at history through those glasses, and practicing doing that. Remember how we discussed in uh, the video how um, so many things in life are presented to us and we accept them for how they are. However, most of those things are being presented to us through a worldview, through a lens, and everyone has one. And so we tell stories, we retell events, we um, make decisions, we, we form our values and those types of things based off of this worldview that we have. And so at our school, um, we're a Christian school, we, we nurture and we, we build a worldview that is based off of the Bible. And it's not, um, it's not about finding a story from the Bible that aligns with what we're doing or what we're learning about, like a story about a battle or something like that. It is the story of Christianity, God's story of love to the world and bringing the world back to himself. We find history in that story, and we find how even a story about World War II, a story about the railroad, uh, Underground Railroad, anything like that, can point us to Jesus, can point us to um, a need of a Savior. We can see the elements of our story, how we were created good. Sin came into this world, right, and God it was at work. Um, putting into his plan of redemption for the people through Abraham, through Isaac, through Jacob, through David, through Jesus, and then ultimately the restoration. And so every story that we learn about through history, we need to look at through that, putting it into perspective of how God sees it and how God works and how it points us to him. I don't want to cover this too much in the assignment because you can always go and watch the video that describes for you Christian perspective as you need it for this class. Um, but this project is called History Through the Eyes of a Christian. And so for this project, you will choose any event that you want from history. It doesn't um, matter um, how big or how small, as long as there's enough information for you to do research. I will ask you to make it from before the 2000s, um, because I want you to... We will take time to do current events through the eyes of a Christian, those kinds of things. Um, and so that would be something that those events, oftentimes they're not over since the 2000s, some of them, 9-11, right, big event. However, there's still implications and things happening around the world because of it. And so the study of 9-11 can't be finished because it is not finished. And so, But how there's other stories that are. And so as long as it's from the year 1999 or older, you can you can use it um, for this. And there's a video on creating a good inquiry research questions for IS. I will attach that or put that into our, our manage back description. Um, but you will create three inquiry research questions. Um, and then as you are researching and answering these two questions, you will use two primary sources. You have to have two primary sources. Um, yes, you will probably use secondary sources for some of them, but I want to make sure that you are going to quality, quality sources. Um, after you've answered your research questions, that will help you understand the topic more. We'll discuss this in class. You will uh, retell the story that you learned about whatever event it was, um, whether it's the Civil War, whether it's the Enlightenment, I'm not sure, the Industrial Revolution, it's up to you. You retell the story in your own words, um, in three or more paragraphs. Oftentimes it's five or six, but I don't want to put a limit on you. But you will retell the story through the perspective of a Christian or through the Christian lens. And some people choose to do this differently than others. Some people add like a summary at the end of like, this is how we see the gospel. This is how we see different parts coming through it. Others can more masterfully tell the story with the creation, fall, redemption, all mixed in and showing how it ultimately points us to Jesus and our need for a Savior or what he has done. And so remember 
Christian perspective is not finding a story from the Bible that compares to the story that you have, but it's looking through the big story of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. What is that story um, of creation, fall, redemption, restoration, and fitting it into there? For you, step one, and you can see that right here, identify a historical event to research. Get it approved by me. After that, you need to write your three inquiry questions. It tells you good, strong inquiry question words to start with. Ask you for historical data or facts to include, and then how do you ask it? It's all good. It's all in there. Get those. Answer those completely. Identify the Christian perspective in it. You'll probably have a paragraph or something like that that you write about. Then you retell the story. Finish your works cited page and then make a video presentation if you want to do that as you just reading your story to the camera because we won't be able to do presentations um, that's great um, but for right now know that you will have to submit a short YouTube video of yourself either reading or retelling the story that you researched for us if you have any questions please ask I hope to see you soon